Howdy everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy and we are in July, eh? going on towards Bastille Day on the 14th of July and to celebrate the occasion, I'd like to start with a big shout out to France Amérique magazine. That's right, I'm not doing this very often, but this magazine has actually contacted me to tell me that the French Cooking Academy will be featured in their Bastille Day special. Now, it's a magazine actually uh, that I didn't know and when I looked at it, I really thought like, wow, this is so in line with what I'm trying to do here. They are the largest and only bilingual French and English magazine that is dedicated to French culture in America. So I thought it was a brilliant move. Thank you very much, France Amérique. Uh, uh, will be featured in uh, the publication. This is the little picture you can see on the screen. And as a little gift for Bastille Day, they also gave me a 15% promo code for you guys. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the magazine, 15% is not bad. And trust me, this is quality. But moving on to the recipe of the week, as you can see, it's all orange again. And I thought because yes, I know summer is coming and uh, I need to do something that's more in line with the season and carrots is something uh, we can work with. Now carrot is like the underdog of vegetables, always used um, for these garnishes when you make a mirepoix, when you make a stock, but we don't often actually eat carrots on their own. So I do have one recipe with carrots and which was the grated carrot salad, which is really good. But I wanted to share another way of cooking carrot, which is how to glaze carrot with an amazing recipe from, again, Joël Robuchon, and that great French, which is unfortunately passed away. And the recipe is basically glazing carrots with cumin, coriander, and orange juice to give something on your table that's gonna be amazing and really special. So if you like carrots, get out of the pot and let's start cooking. Welcome to this recipe tutorial and today we're gonna uh, learn how to glaze carrot in the style of Joël Robuchon. Joël Robuchon was one of the greatest French chefs. Now technically speaking, if you don't know what uh, glazing is, how to glaze vegetables, it is a way of cooking carrots, turnips or onion uh, using water, butter and sugar. And this is the base version. Of course, this is a fine dining version and look at these fancy ingredients. Freshly squeezed orange juice, olive oil, garlic, cumin seeds, butter and I've got a bouquet garni which inside I've got coriander leaves and coriander stalks. Okay, so all the ingredients are listed in the video description and the cookware as well. What's the most important here is this. The carrots you choose. Best quality carrots you can get. They all have to be the same diameter. As you can see they all look the same. And then you have to use a mandolin or a food processor to slice them to make sure they are all the exact same size. This is to guarantee that one once of the slice is cooked, we're gonna know that everything is cooked the exact same way. Okay, so gather all the stuff you need, make sure it's all prepared, and when you're ready, let's start that recipe. So to begin the recipe, we're gonna use a large bowl, and we're gonna put all of the carrots in the bowl. Now once you pour the carrots, if you see some renegades uh, like these ones, they don't comply, and <laughs> too thin and broken, boom, out of there. And we just want to keep the ones that are good looking. Once all the carrots are in, we're gonna put all of the ingredients, so cumin seeds, the sugar, garlic, uh, finely chopped, olive oil, it's two tablespoons, and some salt. We're then gonna be using our hands, so I always say, always when you start uh, cooking, always wash your hands thoroughly. And it's common in French cooking to use clean hands because you have that, you get a tactile uh, feel, the tactile feel. So we're gonna mix everything with the oil, the ingredients, and blend everything. And so we get a nice coherent mix. Once the carrot has been mixed with the, the initial ingredients, and we're gonna move to the stove. And we're gonna use here, you can use a large pan, a saucepan. I'm using a saute pan, which is like a your frying pan with the high edges. And all what we're gonna do here is place all the carrots but making sure to lay them out as flat as possible, okay? So you can use a spatula or a spoon, and we're gonna be very crafty and add them like this to make sure they're all flat. Now, if like me, you know, your container, your pan is too small, you get some uh, leftover carrots, you can use an, another pan afterwards or do it in batches, it does not matter. Most important, don't put a very, very thick layer because glazing can take long. Bouquet garni is the next thing, and I'm gonna try to put it in the middle here and kind of bury it under a few carrots. 
And once the bouquet garni is on, the, the next step is to add water in. And this is a very important step because you have to be careful not to put too much water because otherwise it's going to take forever to reduce and your carrots are going to be overcooked. All right. So we're going to more try to steam the carrots. So the water basically barely halfway up the carrots. So it's hard to see here. So you're going to have to kind of look and see where the water is at and just put a layer of water. Don't overdo the water because this is going to be cooking in two times. First with water and then it's going to be orange juice afterwards. Okay. So once the water is in like that, I'm taking my paper lid, okay, covered in butter. And I'm going to put this on my carrots and then turn my heat on high and bring this to the boil. Now, as soon as the water is boiling, as you can see here, I'm going to put my paper lid back and I'm going to reduce the heat to a simmer and I'm going to leave this to cook. It's been a bit more than 10 minutes, about 11 minutes, and my carrots are tender. So tender is basically with a fork and you can take them in your finger and you see they can already break like this. So they cook very, very quickly. Now, if you have too much water in there, my advice is get rid of some of the water before we add now the orange juice. Okay, so look, if I put my pan on the side, there's a little bit of water there and that's already a lot because we're going to now need for all the water to be gone and we have to add liquid. And this is the next step. So a little bit of orange juice. I'm using not even half a glass here. And I'm going to leave this to reduce until all of the juices are evaporated. And this is what's going to create the glazing. Now it's been another almost 10 minutes and I'm going to remove this. This is the last stage. And as you can see, the water is almost all gone in here. And we're going to finish the cooking without the lids. And the dish really takes shape only towards the end when everything dries up and it starts to caramelize slightly. Now the last steps also involved adding a little bit of orange juice once it's really dry to start to create the glazing manually. So this is the typical kind of fine dining <laughs> gesture. So you're going to get rid of that bouquet garni here. Okay. And make sure all the water and I'm going to wait for this to really caramelize or glaze. It's not really caramelizing. It's just a nice shiny coating on the carrots. It is very hard to get your, your head around glazing, but glazing is, you see this, I've just made a little opening in my carrots, just when it starts to become like a caramel. And we're gonna be rocking your, the pan like that and try to mix gently the carrots in it. So let me zoom out and show you. Well, it's been another 10 minutes and the first thing I can say is that this is a labor of love and because you, you need to spend a lot of time and you need to kind of shake your pan like this to move the, the glaze around to make sure it reduces. And this is the result. So let me just try to dig, uh, you see the bottom? You can see that kind of caramel-like orange. Hmm, okay. It's very subtle. I was expecting like a big bang of flavor, um, but actually no, it's, it's really like mainly the, you know, the, the, the majority of, of carrot taste. There's the hint of orange juice and the heat of uh, cumin on here. And we're going to finish off when we're going to dressing up the plate with a bit of coriander. But uh, it is again elegant. And this is the type of fine dining. So once they're done, basically, of course, now we're going to dress this up on the plate. Wow. Now let me tell you one thing. You have to be an absolute carrot lover to do that dish, <laughs> that side dish, because just the plating and to get the rosace of carrots is really almost a, a job you have to do by hand, very meticulous. So I've added some little peppercorn. Uh, this is a little bit of coriander and I had to put everything on because honestly, it takes so long. That's the fine dining world for you. Um, but what I'll do, I, I've reduced some orange juice and with a few cumin seeds and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to really feel that the whole thing is like nice and, and juicy because I don't want to have it uh, too dry. But that's it, that's really, uh, it's gonna complete the dish here. And here are the glazed carrots in the style of Joël Robuchon. And that completes the recipe of the week. So what can we say about that fine dining? I would say, of course, because of the name, this is not something I do for your everyday cooking, um, but it is interesting to dive into these techniques that chefs use to elevate certain dish and just a simple way of cooking carrots and can be quite 
crafty. Now, I will add my recommendation to the recipe here. I would say at the beginning to cook the carrots, just use a tiny little bit of water, like half a glass of water is actually enough. Wait for that to reduce and then add more orange juice, like a good half glass and leave that to reduce until it glazes. That way you're gonna really have that kind of orangey, buttery, sugary taste. Otherwise, if there's too much water, it's too diluted and you're not gonna get the full experience. But that's it for me. As always, if you have questions, use the comment section. And if you make that dish, share your picture on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. I'd like to thank all the patrons, the subscribers and France Amérique again and to uh, show us in their magazine. It was really, really nice. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all next time for another recipe. Bye-bye.